Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you more advanced way on how to send WhatsApp messages with Tasker. The way I showed you before is also great, but you would have to save all of your numbers as a contact and as a name in those contacts. So it isn't as, as great because if you want to send a WhatsApp message just to a number, you couldn't use the method I showed you before. So in this video I'm going to show you a better way how to send WhatsApp messages to Tasker. But before we start, I want you to take a look on my website here. Uh, it's called taskerprojects.com. You can basically order any custom Tasker project there. Uh, you can also go through projects for sale to take a look if, so, if you're interested in something. You can also uh, go home here and you can uh, read how, it, how everything works. You can go through my reviews, uh, some about me here. So. Yeah, if you're interested in this, just go to taskerprojects.com and you will save time because I will create the project for you. Okay, now let's move on to this phone. So let's open Tasker, uh, create a new create a new task, create a new ta action, and the action will be browse URL, and here basically. You will just uh, type HTTPS uh, wa.me slash and now you will uh, type the number you want to send your uh, message to. So I have the number saved. You can put it in basically any format. I think this will work, but I will remove just the spaces. And then you will put just another slash and question mark text equals and then you will input some text. So for example, hello. And after that's done, you will just click here on this package app name. And you will select uh, WhatsApp or WhatsApp business. It depends on what you want to use. So I will just select WhatsApp here. Okay, and now let's test this, let's run it. And it basically made it ready. Now the only thing left is to click this send button. Let's create another another action with auto input. Here. Actions V2, it's better. Actions to perform, uh, yes, so you will need help. You will click, find. And let's go to WhatsApp here. Let's find this button. I think it has a nice ID. Yep, the first one. Find it by its ID, first found. And uh, no, I don't need to know it now. No. Let's go back to Tasker. Oh yeah, I forgot to add one action, so let's click it. Oh uh, yes, we'll need help. And add. No. We might need to want to back out of the app. So, so we will just add that. And it will back out of the app. Let's save it. And you can try to run it. It basically sent the message. As you can see, my assistant here, my assistant here replied with, "I don't understand. It's in my language." But uh, it it sent the message correctly. Now, if we want to extend this, the professionality, <coughs> you can create a new a new variable. Yeah, I can't write. You can create a new variable and use it here. And now we can set the, set the text here and send the message. It again replied. So it's sending the message successfully, as you can see. Now the thing is, uh, 
If you want to use this method, you will need to have the phone unlocked. So what I recommend is enabling extended as extended unlock, I think it's called. Now Uh, extend unlock this right here and you will just I can't set it up here but you will set it up your phone will be unlocked in some places or if you're wearing a watch just the phone will be unlocked and then you can you can use you can use unlock screen here and this will unlock the screen if it's locked so when you run this task and the phone is locked and the screen is off and this task is uh, performed by some action or something, it will send the message as expected. So I recommend using this if you want to have your phone do it automatically. So yeah, that would be about sending this WhatsApp message. So I hope I helped you a little bit. Uh, if you have more questions, uh, put it in the comments. Or if you have uh, another another video idea, you can also uh, say it in the comments. I will create the video based on your requirements. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.